Good morning and welcome to my breakfast today, which is smoked salmon, Florentine. Shh. This is not typically Bosnian. Trust me. We are Tamara and David, an Anglo-Balkan couple who live in a village in beautiful northern Bosnia and Herzegovina. Here on our channel, we take you along with us during our daily lives and also to the places we discover on our trips away. From everyday life to culture and food, we'll show you what it's like for us living in this much misunderstood country. We're looking forward to you joining us. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Hello and welcome back to the vlog. Episode 16 and a very miserable day. We're getting more and more of these now. Won't be long before, I suppose, rain is like the staple diet of weather and or our staple diet as far as weather is concerned and then of course snow but i hope the snow is going to keep away for a few more months it does look really really beautiful i must admit but it's such hard work i was chatting to my sister today she lives in berlin with my uh brother-in-law who's a scot and because of covid she won't be able to get back to see my nephews her sons for christmas they're in england and our 90 year old plus uh, mother who's on her own in norfolk whilst uh, all our latest technology whatsapps and zooms and what else is there facetime uh, while that's all available for older people i don't think it really cuts it so I was just doing some editing and I just thought how hopeless it feels at the moment with this dreaded virus around the world, how it really has changed things. Life has changed, we've got to get used to it and uh, yeah, I'll just have to have more and more positive thoughts. But I am blessed to be where I am and I'm very, very, very aware and very, very lucky for that so a bit of not necessarily depressing start to this episode of living in bosnia and herzegovina i haven't got a clue what's coming next because unlike some vloggers who seriously plan their shot lists uh, and their themes tam and i busk it and that's what we're going to do busk it Watch your hands. Watch your camera. Nice. You're doing the central heating, eh? No, I'm a central heating. <laughs> you gotta beat that now. getting decidingly colder now and uh, after December we'll have snow every February late January February we get snow ah, you can see me again now and then we have a problem because the shovels that we need to clear the snow are always upstairs in the attic but this year Tam has decided we get them down now and here's the wood store starting to deplete a bit keeps us nice and warm though and here they are these are the babies get it in a bit of a light so you can see so these are the things that we use to clear the snow we have one two three one two three four 
five of them and one will go to Banja Luka. So uh, Predrag can dig out at the, at the entrance to the building where he lives. In previous years we've had quite a bit of snow um, and sometimes we have to dig out um, two or three times a day. Uh, Tam and I normally take it in turns. It's not my favourite activity of the year but hey it has it has to be done right and we try and make as light of it as possible but you know when it's minus I don't know what and it's sneaking snow and you're a Brit like me and I just hate rain and slush and stuff um, yeah it can become quite miserable but the upside is the place looks absolutely postcard picturesque What's just arrived? Stiglo drvo! Ovo lažimo. So your dad's going to make a fence? Yes. Evo, he's the... This is Komšija lives by the church. Zdravo! What's the plan? Plan today or plan for the fence? Plan for the fence. Plan, plan uh, whatever. Plan is to make this same as up there. Uh -huh. So this is going to be extended here. <laughs> Look at Phoebe. <laughs> and then to have this same and then to have a little gate so we can open. And this is so that more safety for the dogs? Yes, and we're going to check this fence and close all the holes so we can let them run around in this lower part of the garden. Because you got attacked by dogs the other day, didn't you? Yes, I did. I didn't get attacked, I almost did. Was it scary? There's some wild dogs, yes. Very scary. I'm going to the house. It's freezing. I like the way you've done the tree. It's so cool. She loves cold water. This is a cake that I came across on an Italian channel that I watch, Il Refugio, and I thought I'm going to give it a try, and then it's the same ingredients as uh, Stollen, so this could be our early Stollen, but I didn't, I do it my way, I, uh, ingredients are totally different in her video, but I did it with cranberries and cranberry jam, it looks amazing, look at it! This is how you do stalling, you do it three times with butter and sugar and then you leave it for a few days until, or two weeks they say, I don't know. Welcome back to the vlog. In the last clip you were making some sort of cake. Yes, Stollen I was ma sorts. making a Stollen, Stollen, Stollen or Stollen? Stollen. Stalin style cake, which did not turn out too well because it didn't rise up enough. I think it's because of my yeast. Yeah, bad yeast. Bad yeast, yes. So maybe in the next one of the next vlogs we'll see a little bit of, of improvement. Yes. Okay, right, what we're talking about today is something that we talked about in the previous vlog, which was I showed you... Cheers. Zivia. What are you drinking? Oh, uh, rakia. Rakia. Karamut. Mm. And I, I was talking about this, I'll give you a close-up in just a second, and this is Rose Jam. Um, quite a few people asked, and especially Di, who's in Wales, Di Roberts, said, is this rose hip? No, this is rose as in rose petals. Rose petal jam, yes. Um, and we've got it from the new store, which is 
Fortuna City. We love Fortuna City, don't we? Yes, we do. It's my favourite shop. And, and it's five minute drive. Yeah, right? and the, I know that somebody that we're going to talk about now is not going to watch this vlog. So we can do this. We don't know that yet. No, we don't know that. But Tam's mother does not watch this vlog as far as we're aware. Yes. No, because this is a present for her. So I hope she doesn't see it now. She, li she likes This company watching. called, how would you say this? Do you know how to pronounce Turkish at all? Dodka. I don't know. Or Dodjka. Dodjka. Dodjka, maybe. Dodjka. They're the ones that make the rose. So if you, and come, that's what, is if that you come from Turkey and you're watching our videos, can you tell us how do you pronounce this? Please. Yeah, it's D-O-G with a sort of I think Accent they, and maybe they care. can see it. Yeah. I hope that zoomed in well. Yeah, so we we got the rose and then we found, because your mum likes smogva. Smogva is... Fig. Fig. So, fig jam. So, we're not going to open this. And if she's seen this, the surprise has been blown. So, there you go. I know. So, we said that we would try and do uh, a tasting. Um, the Turkish people uh, eat it with kaimak. With the sweet kaimak. Sweet kaimak. But I mean it? the kaimak that's not uh, without salt. Yeah, but this is salty, right? But I couldn't find... Uh, Ooh. What? Oh, is it bad? No, have a smell. It's okay. It's okay, It's a right. little bit, little bit off. A little, little bit <laughs> off, yeah. So what I thought we would... there's no chemicals in it. Yeah, it's, it, it's... I don't know what it is, but in Bosnia and Herzegovina you, you add salt to the kaimak, right? Not everybody, but uh, I couldn't find anyone without salt. But salt is like a preservative, mm. keeps it longer. And by the way, you should uh, be careful what you wish for. Because years ago, we used to go shopping and we said when we wanted to have burgers that there were never any real burger buns. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. And now in every shop, you can buy burger buns. And these are good, no palm oil. They're no nice. palm oil. So we've got a pup, we've got one of these, which by the way, typically American is already pre-cut for you. That's where they come from. The saying is it's great. It's, what is it? It's as good as sliced bread. Yes. The Americans started sliced bread. Do you know that? No, I didn't know. Yeah, they were the first country to slice bread ready for you, lazy individuals that they are. Sorry about that, any Americans. It's only a joke. You can buy a sliced bread here too. This is the, um, the butter, butter dish. It is not full of Marmite, though I wish it was. It used to be. But no, it used so. to be. Right, so we'll try one with some butter. Yeah. No, I'll do the one with Kaimak, but you have to try both. They're both going to try both. Would you like to do the Kaimak, sweetheart? Okay. And we're going to try and see what it tastes better with. I'm not so sure. Having said that... So a little bit off here. Yes. We had a uh, Kaimak with uh, English jam, didn't we? Some time ago, when you made those beautiful scones. Yes. Tam makes scones just like an English girl. We need to dispose this. Just put it on there. I'll clean it up later. Okay. Because this kaimak has no preservatives and we had it like for over a week now. We've yeah, been... but it has been in the... That's better, no? Do you think it's... Okay. Right, so you put it on there. The first thing I... I need more kaimak than this. Oh, right. Sorry. As you, can, as you can see, I, I'm a guy that's been trained to do as I'm told. Now that's good. Now, okay, right. It? So we got that. The first thing I have to say about this well, is the picture. We're just going to have half. Yeah. It's a picture on the outside. It's made basically from rose petals, isn't it? Yes. What, what we've seen on, on YouTube. And this is why we, we went into this. But on YouTube, they really have the color of the rose petals. Mm -hmm. And the Turks are very uh, famous for using rose because rose is one of the tastes of um, lokum. Yes. Which is um, my favorite. Turkish delight. Turkish delight. Uh, it's called lokum here. Made of rose with the rose flavor. It's my favorite. But this doesn't. I love rose flavor. Uh, flavor, because when when I was a little, my grandfather from my mom's side, he grew so many roses. But your and, grandfather and was we, Turkish. He was Turkish. Yes. <laughs> he grew so many roses, and they used to make a rose uh, syrup like a rose juice Ooh. and I used to grow up on that and I really like it but he didn't make any of the jam just the syrup like but the first thing juice. I have to say sweetheart that does not look like rose color does it it no. looks quite off it looks no, like it's not it is pink it's pink but it's not real it's, blind, it's, not, it's, it's not a I usually say the man they are kind of don't see colors very well we will talk about this off camera okay okay would you like to try we'll try it 
on Kymac first. We'll try it on Kymac, see the consistency. Yeah, it's it very gooey because it was in a fridge, so it gets really hard. Yeah. So let's try it. If I can find anywhere on the internet, this where you is can very get this sweet. You wheel. don't put too much, otherwise. Do you think it overdoes it? it it's uber sweet, <coughs> like so sweet, like very sweet. Kymac. Voilà. So this is the one with Kymac. Mm -hmm. This is how Turks eat it, but they have sweet kaimak and we don't have sweet kaimak. This one is kind of sweet, but it has still has salt. It has, yeah, you can taste the salt, without a doubt. My mother will kill me, as you know, from re watching all the vlogs in the past when I spit in my mouthful, but... This it's is, nice. This, is, this has got a more salty taste than English salty butter, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. And I think if the Turks have got unsalted Kaimak, I think this would be perfect. They have, I think they probably have both kinds. We do have both kinds, but I couldn't find We did it. want to make our own rose jam at one time, but we just, A, we don't have roses on the property. We do have roses on the property, but not, but enough. not enough. Not enough, not enough. Okay, now one with putter, but you need more putter, David. Do you think so? I think putter goes well with this. And maybe there's a slight taste of sweetness in the American type bun. There might be that to it. Maybe. Here we go. See? While this is happening, we're just going to. Yeah. While this is happening. Um, it's like rose, the... rose petals with the sugar seeds. Yeah. At the moment, we're getting ready for Christmas. We have two Christmases. But our Christmas, or my Christmas on the 25th, we're coming up with some pretty dynamic new things to offer the family, aren't we? Yes, we do. But we won't tell that's you now. The, that, that's the, uh, because I'm we watching. We won't tell you that. You'll see. That's because I'm watching too many YouTube, YouTube videos. videos. Um, and you might see more of this on, um, <gasps> on our It's <Instagram>. dripping. <gasps> mm. I prefer it with the butter. Immediately, I have to say that. Me too. We have to find some sweet kaimak. If anybody is watching this around the world uh, that knows where we can get Turkish kaimak, not Bosnian kaimak, but Turkish kaimak here in Bosnia Herzegovina, please let us know because it would be nice to have it. Mm. Mm. Maybe That's sorry, the winner maybe. for me. The butter, I'm, I know that any Turkish people today will say you must have kaimak, but I don't think, even though I love Kaimak from Bosnia and Herzegovina. This, it's, it, this is just this must be different from Turkish Kaimak. I don't know. I don't know. Kaimak is Kaimak. You make it of the milk. So anyway, if you can get rose jam anywhere in a delicatessen in the United Kingdom, in the delis in the United States or Canada, and go South to Africa, Turkish wherever, shop and buy Turkish Kaimak, you have to try rose. Um, kaimak, kaimak is like a clotted cheese. Did yeah, say that? Um, yeah, it is like a clotted tree, cheese and um, cl clotted cream. Cream. Yeah. And I had a cheese. friend on Instagram, or a friend on the internet rather, that said when he found out that we were eating rose, he went, how yucky. But it is really, really nice. That's it for this edition, this episode, episode 16. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Do you know we got 300 views on the last one? And let me tell you something. This is the announcement. There will be no more vlogs. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Merry Christmas, we are just kidding. <laughs> we have a long way to go to Christmas. If you do like what you're watching, please do like, share and subscribe. Thumbs up, hit the button and do all the things that all the other YouTubers say. Yes, and uh, you can just uh, post a comment if you want to comment on this and say did you ever try this or anything you want to comment, please don't forget to put the comments down below this video. Okay, until next week. See you soon. See you soon.